Hello and welcome to beautiful Costa Rica. In this video, I'm gonna explore the thriving real estate market in the town of Guiones in Guanacaste, known for its incredible beaches with great year-round surf. The town has this long, expansive beach where people of all levels come to surf, but also there's a great, thriving health and wellness community, yoga schools and health-focused activities, and no high-rises, no big condos, and some beautiful modern homes that are set in the tropical landscape. I love the community feel, but also great food from international, all nationalities. There's also a great private school, an IB school for people who want to move with their families. So when you combine a beautiful place with tons of activities, great communities, well, typically what you see is long-term growth. So, and the backstory, look, I've come to Guiones many times in 2016, 2017, and decided to buy land there and invest, and I saw the potential. I visited tons of lots, so I have a good understanding of the area. And look, I was telling people, invest in Guiones. This town was gonna grow in leaps and bounds. And my 220,000 lot, well, today it would be worth more than uh, 700,000 today. Well, I did flip it. I bought a house in Miami, then I flipped that house, bought a house in Sedona, which is doubled in value. So, in fact, I haven't done too bad. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a different video. I believe in meeting with local experts that have experience and that you can trust and let them answer the questions that investors are asking. So, in this video, I'm gonna sit down with Kurt. He's a real estate expert who's been in Guiones for 15 years. And I'm gonna discuss the key factors that make Costa Rica, in particular, Guiones, such an interesting location to invest. And I bought with him at the time, and I know a lot of people work with him, and he has incredible knowledge and ethics. So, in this video, Kurt is going to answer nine key questions to give you a general understanding of Guiones. The nine questions are, one, why are so many foreigners investing in Costa Rica and in particular in Guiones? Discover the compelling reasons behind the influx of investments and the money pouring in and how the unique characteristics make it such an interesting destination. Number two, are there any specific risks for foreigners to buy real estate or scams? Although it's super safe, to be honest, Kurt's gonna share some very interesting insights of things to be aware of. Three, what makes Playa Guiones and Pelada so attractive? And Kurt's gonna talk about the activities, the self-movement, uh, the health movement, uh, the communities, the private schools. Number four, what are the prices like? And what are the most sought after locations? Five, what is the season for weekly rentals? And if someone wants to do Airbnb or longer term rentals, What's the season? Six, what is the price per square foot or per square meter to build a house? Seven, how does a buyer, if they live remotely, manage the building process and oversee the work? Eight, how is access in terms of international airport? And what about traffic? And finally, number nine, how is Guiones developed over the years? Whew, that's a lot. So if you've been considering investing in real estate abroad, whether for capital appreciation or owning a place in the sun, or you're considering working abroad remotely in a tropical paradise, like so many people have chosen to do, with a great thriving community in Guiones, well, this video is a must watch. So if you're ready, let's jump in. We are on a journey to find real estate deals in places of utmost beauty entry-priced luxury properties that are undervalued or deliver high short-term rental revenue, what we call Blue Vista properties. All right, so super excited to be uh, with Kurt here. Uh, I had the experience of working with Kurt in the past and buying some real estate here in Guiones, beautiful part of Costa Rica. And uh, well, I'm back, I'm excited to be here and get a bit of an update from Kurt, who's uh, an expert. And so maybe before we go into uh, and answer some key questions I'm hearing from people, I uh, maybe Kurt, just in briefly, how long have you been here and how many years in real estate? So I've been in here in Nazara, Costa Rica for 15 years in real estate, about 13 of this year. Uh, working for two agencies here that I've had the pleasure of working with. And uh, it's been a great experience. I've got to meet a lot of great clients, such as yourself. So um, our market has really grown and, and developed, but I think in a good and natural way. That's cool. Well, I must say, uh, coming back and, uh, you know, you always say, if I had known what well, the time I had invested in law, <laughs> and then I saw sold. myself, in, yeah, I sold. And, uh, you know, Kurt was just telling me earlier, you're like, well, you know, you're a plot that you bought for 200. Well, right now it'd be going to 700. So anyways, but uh, I still think there's, you know, some great opportunities. Maybe what would, um, Kurt, if you just give us a little bit 
well, you know, what's the attraction for foreign investors, like in US, Canadian, European, or what, 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 are, what are the reasons why people come to Costa Rica and to be honest in your experience over the years? Well, I think Costa Rica in general is because um, it's a stable democracy in Central and South America. Uh, the law is fee simple title. You hold the land outright. You have the same property rights as, as a national. Um, so I think that attracts a lot of people, whether it's to Nazara or maybe up to the mountains like Monte Verde or, or places maybe north like Tamarindo or south like Santa Teresa. Because you only know land outright and you feel comfortable there is a rule of law. And um, the economic and political stability, I think, attracts a lot of investors to Costa Rica for sure. I agree. My experience was with reading C-List. In fact, buying, well, they're doing a hard attorney, coming, doing the title check. I'm with, I had experience uh, buying and setting in different parts of the world. And uh, Costa Rica is one of the, the, you know, the smoothest, cleanest. And we, at the time, had an experience with me that we made an offer in our law, and we checked the paperwork. Mm-hmm. And in fact, the road, the easement was, we didn't realize we were too much on the lot. Therefore, right. we could back out. So fully the whole, the whole process. It is something that people do worry about. And, you know, some places around the world, any, are there any scams or any things like that you see? I mean, because I know there's many there historically is. there's been like typically if you work with someone like you knows you would get, but just to get you know. Advice. I would say first of all, work with an established realtor. Yeah, whatever time you're working with, uh, somebody that's been there eight or more years because they've um, maybe seen some of the problem lots, so to speak. Um, they'll have a better sense of of cons because there is no MLS system here. So um, somebody that's been in that particular local market that might have sold a house twice or a lot twice, they'll know. Some of the problems we do get on lots is um, to play land is uh, twofold actually. One can be is if it was bought maybe like in the 80s and 90s and um, the people didn't put it in a coast, Costa Rican corporation, had it in their individual name and they passed away. and. The heirs really just don't know about it, you know, and it goes through probate, and then like, you might get um, somebody that comes in and tries to, to claim the land. So yeah, that's, that's one thing. And the other thing would be on larger tracts of land like fincas, um, sometimes there's property overlaps and things of that nature. But with a, a good attorney, um, most good attorneys tend to do a very effective title search and survey and coordinate with a good topographer as well to make sure that everything's in in order. So if you, you know, use um, established realtors, lawyers, um, then I think that alleviates a lot of us. Particularly, depending, like if you're in a place where there's been quite a bit of development, I'm not going like here in Guiones there. Um, tell me a bit about Guiones itself. So what had you seen now? It's a, you know, uh, I was showing, you know, showing a bit how the town is a beautiful town, surf town, the restaurants, I've seen it grow and develop, but it still has, which I like, that feeling of you know, uh, you don't have the giant condos, you don't have, you know, like some, some parts, you don't have Hakko or, or Tamarino. It really still feels like a village for me in a way. I love that spirit. But, but tell me what, in your experience, what's attracted people to you in this particular, and what have you seen in the market? I know prices have gone up, naturally, they're like many places, but. When you apply Giannis, and you have to include player plotters. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think because of this, uh, an active wellness lifestyle market, I mean, yes, we have the surfing, which is very popular in Playa Giannis. But we also have a popular tennis community now, uh, popular yoga, horseback running, fishing, stand-up paddleboard, and there's a jiu-jitsu community here now. Seriously. One of the uh, Grace Brothers, I think, comes into town. So the whole model of the town is doing something good for yourself, but I think from a physical standpoint as well as a, a balance standpoint. Um, I mean, also, it's very much sustainability here. Okay. And then the uh, eating right, taking care of yourself. So I think that's a big attraction. Um, and what solidifies that is we have a couple private schools now. So families that have kids like myself that are younger, they can go to a school, get a good education. Well, an IB program, that's like an IB program, Del, Del Mar Academies, IB program. Uh, so that creates definitely a, a core zone for people that want to be here full time. And if you look now a little bit more uh, specifically on the market itself and prices, mm-hmm. um, so what are you seeing in terms of, you know, let's say the Guiones areas for, you know, houses, 
they, they saw good prices in and house, and then a little bit understanding the, the yields and rental season. Mm-hmm. I mean, interesting. What, what, where are you seeing prices going at now? And you still find opportunities. People can still go and find something they think is makes sense from an investment perspective. I mean, I think the two ways to look at it is really on a uh, beach side market, like I would say is what's always relevant is something that is seven minutes or less walking distance to the beach. Yep. Because um, that's what people want rent, whether it's for seven to 10 days, or I think people, when they first come down here, I don't know, I think a lot of times their first year, even if they're running long term, they kind of have that dream of walking to the beach with the kids. So even for a long term uh, rental perspective, um, those typically have the highest occupancy and rate stuff. So I think seven minutes or less walking to the beach. After that, um, something with a great view. Yeah, okay. when I say great view, I don't mean blue water rise. And I mean, and you can see waves, you can see maybe a point, uh, the beach, everything. So um, those two parts of our market are always the most liquid and, and sought after, basically. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Once you get in between those markets or outside of those markets, it, and it, your investment really depends on what price you pay for it. All right, well, we're going to take a bit of break from the interview, and I'm just going to show here a bit of the prices. We're here in Guiones, uh, Nozar area, and give you a sense of what there is for sale. I think that's um, um, kind of just the easiest way. And one of the things that Kurt was saying is naturally the properties that are closer to the sea, uh, to the ocean, I mean, I'm sorry, will be at a, you know, at a premium. So like here you have a house designer beach home, $3.3 million. Um, you know, you can just click, click around on the different, different properties. Uh, here's a short walk to the beach. That's a lot for 600,000. Uh, if you go a little bit further back, you'll see there's some, um, you know, this is some beautiful designer homes. If you go further up here, you see the, the prices drop a bit, 550,000 for a lot. Uh, here you have 1.5 million brand new home. You see beautiful uh, modern home. It's a little bit further. Here is a beautiful b- uh, villa, 2.5 million. So you know prices have gone up. Here's um, 3.8. Uh, now if you go further up and further back, you'll start seeing like here you have boutique residences going for 575,000. So um, you know. It, it, if you're going here, 725, a house. So you're a little bit further behind here, dramatic views uh, with a, a lot for going for 800,000 here, another lot for 750. Now, if you head here, you see some beachside condo here going for 675, um, and, but this is in the Pelada area. So it kind of gives you a sense. Now, if you go further, if I zoom out and you start heading towards like Ostional up here, now, it's not the same feeling at all uh, in terms of development. You don't have the restaurants, the community, uh, but then, you know, prices will drop here. You have a beachfront lot here in a gated community going for 475000 And if you go look at this, you're like, wow, you know, that's beautiful. The, you know, you have the, 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 the beach right there, right in front. So, you know, uh, naturally location, location, location in, um, you know, we've been focusing on here with, um, with Kurt. Uh, at really, you know, looking down in um, in Guiones. So I hope that helps to give you just a bit of a sense of the prices. And we're going to go right back to um, to Kurt. And the season for rental, because I know the uh, the dry and the rainy season. What are you seeing about the winters? Well, I mean, our, our our high season for weekly rentals is basically think of it this way: Thanksgiving, yeah, to Easter. Okay, pretty simple. And um, that's where you see the highest hiking, same highest rates on on the Airbnbs. Uh, but we, we do handle a very healthy uh, monthly rental market as well. We're also come down for three months, six months, nine months. So, um, um, and those people, they think they're a little different. Some of them don't necessarily care about being right on the beach because maybe they have kids and they're running to the school and running to the banks. They can be a bit further back. It's just about some of the purchase value and what they're looking for in our market. Link says, um, so maybe just briefly, someone wants to build, what are you looking at? And what are some of the advice? I know you have a lot of experience you've seen. There's some very modern, beautiful things popping up, but sometimes not maybe the best for this type of climate. But what are you looking? I know it's a range. And I, I'd like to say not if you're building, if it's a car, not a Porsche, but like a Volkswagen, something that's sturdy, that's nice, that works. Well, price per square meter or square foot, what are you looking at about? A lot of the architects right now, when they're doing their textual plans and then they're putting it out to bed, um, a lot of them are using 225 a square foot and that as the baseline. 
Now, obviously, they can fluctuate. That will depend heavily on what your finishings are. Yeah. I'm like, are you using polished concrete as far as the floors? Are you using tile? Are you using wood? Um, so all that depends a lot on the finishings. Um, a one-level structure may be a lot cheaper than a multi-level structure where you're going up two or three stories. What's been hit more structural down in there? So all that will depend on designing and finishings. That yeah, makes sense. And um, in terms of how, if a foreigner wants to buy, but they can't be here all the time, how do you manage them to project? I know you do personally a couple projects that there are people like you who help. There, there are people that are owner representatives and health fibers that they honor uh, during the build process. It depends on what level of service you're looking for. Yeah. Um, there's certain people that will do it like full-time service and you're gonna pay like 10% what bill costs, those other people that they honor this until they need that much, they were pretty involved in it themselves and they need maybe somebody that's just gonna validate what they're thinking. Yeah, then that would be less of a fee that they can have down on swear on pride. It really depends on the level of service and on what you want that person to do for you. Either cult, that makes sense. And just in terms of access to remind me, so Liberia, how far are we? We're about, I would say that neon traffic, uh, two hours to two and a half hours. So I'm like, a great team to do that. Jumped to make, I think it's one of the amazing things. It was originally like I chose because if I wanted to fly in, yeah. uh, there's, I just was, I told you, Santa Teresa, beautiful little town also, but it's four hours. So that appendix, sometimes even more, and four hours I keep driving. I just did it with the kids coming in. Raining. No, a library can even be less. It, it just depends on track. Yeah. Uh, as Coast Rica has gotten more popular, and uh, it was funny because I was driving to Liberia, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was in October or something. And I was like, wow, I can't believe the amount of cars that are right. Number one, there used to be our late knee cars on Prototype October. So I think a lot's changed on um, with that. Yeah. And uh, maybe just uh, my perspective in terms of, um, you know, what you're saying earlier, there's such a trend around health that there's a lot of things post COVID where people are rethinking, you know, nights and, mm -hmm. And I've seen that beautiful places around the world. Now the possibility to work remotely, like, you know, many jobs you could, you could work from a place and go into the city once a month, maybe. And I think that have locked a lot of beautiful places like Costa Rica, but around the world, destinations that are beautiful. And like, in, in, I've always looked at it when I look at today's prices, I would say, wow, they're high, but. Aspen, Vail, Verbier, all these places 10 years ago were high, 20 years ago were high. Mm -hmm. And if the place is beautiful, has a community feel, has a lot of activities, like all the health activities, I've seen just people continually to want to come. And I think, uh, at least in my experience, this is such an amazing. I was just going driving around, look a little bit, the amount of little rest for a moment. And I think you know, the amount of all that we've seen, and certainly for the last 10 years, or has been a lot. Uh, I think if you're a couple or a family, I think you would like it. Like there's more family friendly restaurants now. Um, my daughter takes gymnastic lessons. There's things like that. So amazing. So I think from that standpoint, it's, it's been great. Uh, we had some, mm -hmm. you know, hiccups on the way, sure. Increase the traffic, a little more uh, dust. Um, you know, as you have people build, other people, you know, get frustrated that there's one building, but they also built one to the end. So um, everything's a little bit of a balancing act and sometimes things get a little bit out of balance, but I find over time they, they need to say yeah. regress back to, to the mean of what they should be. Well, listen, uh, I know uh, it's a holiday period, so thank you so much for your ride. Oh, great to see you again. Great to see you back. Thank you. And uh, well, enjoy the rest of your stay in Costa Rica. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Ciao. Thanks. So thanks for your support. And I hope you like the content. A lot more to come about investing in real estate in beautiful places. So make sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and more videos to come. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the future video.